Greetings! Welcome back to the studio. Today's video is really one of those odds and ends kind of videos. Some time ago, a friend of the channel sent me tubes of Cutman paints and a Cutman pad of paper. The idea was to see if the fresh paint is any different than the pans, and to compare if the old Cutman paper had a different behavior than the newer pad I already had. Now, you guys know by now that I'm not a fan of the Cutman paint range. I really do think that with this video I can finally move away from these ubiquitous paints. I'll feel like I have given them the fairest of chances. I'm starting by taking a look at both pads. The older model one is a slightly smaller size and it comes with a few informational pages. Too bad they start off by saying that red is a primary color and can be made from a mix. The paper itself is nothing special on its own, but when I compared it with the paper from the newer pad, I saw that the texture was a bit different. They are both cold press papers, but the older pad has a smaller texture pattern than the newer one. The pads themselves are not the same size, but quite close. The tubes I have are these eight colors. Alizarin Crimson Hue, Permanent Rose, Lemon Yellow Hue, Emerald, Intense Blue, Mauve, Sepia and Ivory Black. I put a blob of each paint in a palette and started painting swatches on both papers. I did not notice a lot of differences while swatching the paints. I did a couple of other tests, but to be honest, both papers behaved almost exactly the same. I think that as far as inexpensive cellulose papers go, these two pads are fairly standard. As for the paints, well, it's a mixed bag. Some colors from the tube are nice enough. The intense blue I have here is really not that bad. Other colors, you can tell they've been cut with extenders, because it's impossible to get a really concentrated color. The emerald and alizarin crimson hue are two of them here. No matter how much fresh paint I had in the mix, they will never reach the same level of depth than the same colors in professional paints would. I painted Cutman swatches here on the left side and similar colors, but in professional paints, on the right side. You can tell how some pigments, like the rose, are much deeper in the professional range. I don't have the exact same pigment hue as the alizarin crimson hue from Cutman, but it's the same pigment number for the professional paints swatch and it's obviously a much different richness of color. I'm not sure what's the takeaway here. Some Cutman paints in tubes are not that bad, but how is one supposed to know without trying them all? And at that point, wouldn't it be better to just buy less colors, but from a professional quality range? The paper is standard cellulose paper. If you like cellulose paper, a Cutman wirebound pad like these might work out fine for you. All right, I consider myself done with Cutman for now. Thank you very much for watching. Take care, bye bye.